Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Hey, I'm your host, Mad Morgan, and you are listening to Soapbox Daily. Thanks for joining me today for episode 89. Today is episode 89 on this Thursday. It's cold, it's wintry outside where I'm located in the nation's capital of Ottawa, Canada. And today we're going to get something going that kind of stems back to what I was watching on TV yesterday, documentaries and stuff. And today's topic is about, it's called Tales from the Past. And the reason I want to talk about this is because it's interesting to think about what's come before us and why we are where we are now and if there's stuff that we can learn from there. So that's what we're going to talk about today kind of ancient history, ancient civilizations, kind of touch basis on that. But before I do, how has your integrity been this week? How is your integrity today? Are you being the positive change the world needs? That is always the question of the day. And also please check out our website for all information and our FAQs at getoffmysoapbox.com. So let's check this out today. Tales from the past. So ancient history, and it's interesting, you always see these new sh shows that pop up, and it seems to be the same old, same old, same old. Everybody talks about the history, everybody talks about the past, and they talk about how they went into these digs and ancient civilizations, and oh look, I found some pottery, and there's always all these questions and questions and questions. It seems to be kind of repetitive, but I think the other thing that gets me is, I watched this one documentary where they called the archeologist or researcher or scientist behind it all a quack. Like he was a quack. He's, oh, he's just, he's far left field. He's just, he's, he's got so many interesting, bizarre theories and everything else. And what was that series called? Hang on. So it's on Netflix. Check it out if you want. It's called Ancient Apocalypse. And I find it's a very interesting series. Very interesting series. So Ancient Apocalypse. If you ever entered documentaries and stuff about past civilizations and history and, um, you know, stuff that's already come and went, it kind of opens up a whole different perspective on things. Because I don't know, I just find, as I said, a lot of the stuff seems to be repetitive. You keep seeing all these documentaries and it's just a different angle of the same stuff and the same conclusions over and over again. So this Ancient uh, Apocalypse series did a really good job at making me think of other things. And that's kind of what we need because we don't have all the answers. But you have to kind of wonder after thousands of years of civilization, what happened to those civilizations and what we should learn from that. And that's the other thing. I don't think we've learned from the past where we should be learning from the past. And now we're at a point in our existence, in our society where we have the woke movement and we have the... Uh, Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Those people that want to bury, bury the past, you know, like, like it didn't happen. They want to take down these statues and they want to erase stuff from history, which is really, in my opinion, stupid because you, you can learn so much from the past. We've already been there and it's happened. And there's a reason why these civilizations are no longer there, which we should look at what's already happened and look at our current situation and go, hmm... Interesting. So this has happened before and this is the result and that civilization no longer exists. Yeah, I wonder about that. I, I mean, look at the empires they used to have. What happened to them? They fell to the wayside. Probably got too arrogant, too full of themselves, thinking that they were the masters of all. And obviously time and the world said, nope, you're not the masters of all. We're going to put you in your place. And ooh, now you're extinct. And another civilization grows. But I don't know, check out Ancient uh, Apocalypse. And as far as history goes in, in the past, I find it's fascinating because it's interesting to know where we've come from, where we've already been. And I think we've actually gotten stupider. <laughs> as far as moving forward, we've relied too much on technology. When back in the era, back in history, they had techniques that rivaled current technology, but they did it manually and using intelligence, using smarts, using some pretty primitive stuff that we would consider these days, but they did it well and they did it sometimes, in some cases, even better. So I don't know, Tales from the Past is something that I like to hear more of because I think you can learn a lot from the past and you probably could too. Pick up a history book, pick up a history book, cross-reference it, check into deeper texts, check into stuff that you don't know about, visit a museum. You'll be absolutely shocked to find out what you find out. It might just change the way you go about your everyday. I don't know, just something to think about. That's my little topic for today. I want to thank you very much for tuning in for episode 89 of Soapbox Daily. As always, I'm your host, Matt Morgan. Keep your integrity in check. Hope you have a marvelous day moving forward, and I will see you next episode.